So we have been working on this show, and here's the reason, because I am a white, male, cisgendered, older dude, and to do a show about women rockers in our region, which we're doing, right? Right? That's what we're here for. Yeah? It took me a while to sort of come around to understanding how I had the standing to do that, you know? How could I position myself to speak, you know, in my voice? Well, I realized that um, I wasn't hearing these stories. I knew about some of these artists, but there was a lot I didn't know about. No one else was telling these stories, as far as I knew. It was hard to find it. And I kept telling people, there's a story here, man. There's all these rock and roll women in this region that we don't know about, we haven't heard about. So I just kind of got over myself and said, you know what? <laughs> Let's just do it, okay? Yeah, so we're doing it, right? We're doing it. We did it last night, and I have to tell you, it was amazing. We were at Jilly's Music Room in Akron, and we had some of the folks that are here tonight to perform with us last evening. We got a bunch of new artists that are going to join us this evening. And it's funny, isn't it? Jilly's Music Room is run by Jill Bacon Madden, right? The Beachland Ballroom and Tavern is run by Cindy Barber, right? Yeah. Who else do you see walking around with a camera here tonight? Who you, same person that you've seen for a number of decades, forever, Anastasia Pancios. Yeah. She's like hiding right now. But, you can get her books over here. She's been taking photos of rock and roll women and men, a few men, but she has a whole book out on rock and roll women. So check that out and check out the merch from our artists as well because um, that's how they're going to make most of their money tonight, I think, is off of the merch because um, it's important for artists. How else do artists make money these days, right? It's tough. So check that out as well. We start as early as 1958 with the ponytails, and we come up as current as last night. I think we had Elliot Carter, who's 19 years old, just took her art finals at Kent State University. She's third generation rocker. Her father was in the Twist Offs. Her grandfather was in uh, Tin Huey and Half Cleveland. Um, and so. We are covering the span and the range. And you know what? We're only scratching the surface. And I feel bad about all the people we haven't been able to talk to or talk about or hear from on the stage. Because tonight we're going to hear some great music from some great women acts and women-led acts. And it's going to be very exciting. So to get things started, um, Chris Butler, who created the fake band The Waitresses. Are you guys familiar? Yeah. I know what boys like. Um, fronted by Patty Donahue, right? Uh, we're also going to hear from Anastasia Pancios, the photographer who, and writer who's been documenting the scene since the early 70s. Marky Ray is a rock and roll mercenary who crossed paths with most, most of these artists, and he's, he's here at the, at the Beachland all the time, Marky, right? He, he basically works here. They're going to introduce us to an artist, Art Adele Berté, who came up in reform schools here in the Cleveland area. Uh, before she started working with Peter Lochner, who was legendary, started Perubu and Rocket from the Tombs, and he was one that worked with a lot of women. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. So articulate. Got to know Adele, and I, I have to say I talked to her, that was probably four years ago, um, because we did an earlier show called The Birth of Punk in Cleveland, Akron, and Kent, and she spoke about all of that. And I think that planted the seed, now that I think back. It's just occurred to me. But talking to Adele there, and her telling about this, so many women in the scene that I was unaware of and unfamiliar with, and I thought I knew a lot of rock and roll history. And I thought, man, there's something going on here. 
there's a reason we're not telling these stories. And as she said, the men are telling their own stories, right? I mean, history belongs to those who tell the story, right? So we're trying to correct that tonight, people. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So to kick things off, on the stage, Moon Echo Garden, a four-piece psychedelic rock band from the Earth City of Cleveland, Ohio. It's Meg Stepka. You probably know her from Meg and the Magnetosphere. She did the 48-hour virtual music fest, Manic Monday open mics, Winchester open mic. She does an open mic, I think, well, how many, eight days a week? I don't know what it is. She's it's every, a lot. And uh, Kate Hart on vocals and keys, Lisa Kimple, and Chris Froring. Listen, this band is pretty brand new. They just formed in late 2023, which is amazing. Um, and they are going to start us off with, from Cleveland, Rachel Sweet and her hit song, Who Does Liza Like? Please welcome, from Cleveland, Ohio, Moon Echo Garden! <laughs>
Garden. We're pretty new. Uh, we're really excited to be here. We had so much fun last night. Uh, I think I think everybody else we met last night had a great time too. Uh, really excited to see the rest of the acts tonight, especially the ones we didn't get to see before. Uh, we've got one more original song for you. This one is called uh, Echo Out.
Echo Garden. You know, it was even better the second time for those of you that were here last night. Folks, Moon, Echo, Garden! Yeah. Woo. You got something going on there. And you know, so far for tonight, they win the prize for best outfits, don't you think? They put a lot of effort into that.